Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. So today I have a super fun video. I am so excited. So being in lockdown, being in quarantine, I have become obsessed with TikTok. I've actually filmed a few of my own, but I haven't uploaded them yet. So I'm going to leave my handle down below because I'm going to go live tonight on TikTok. But I thought it'd be really fun to do makeup hacks, anything makeup based, beauty based. Let's do the hacks that are viral on TikTok. Let's try them out because I've never tried them out. And then also I've chucked in a few of my own little hacks for you guys as well. First hack being, this is a life one, not a beauty one. But I did make the infamous, you know, the iced coffee. And I have to tell you guys, I've never had iced coffee before. I think that's what it's called. It tastes so good. I'm pretty sure it's not that healthy for you because it has got quite a bit of sugar in it, but it tastes bomb. It tastes so, so good. Okay, let's just jump straight in. Hack number one is probably the most famous one, the one that you guys have requested, and it is the powder before foundation. So let's just Watch. do that. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first, then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one, and I just lightly dab it all over my face, not too much. Then take some setting spray, it could be any setting spray, I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens. And okay. how amazing your fuck. Okay, step number one is that to moisturize at first, which is pretty normal, that's what I would do anyway. This hack, let me just tell you guys, is a little bit scary for me because you know that I don't really like to use powder anyway. So putting powder on before foundation, I mean in my head it's going to congeal, it's not going to look good. The things that I've heard are absolutely amazing. So let's just try it. I'm going to be using the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Moisturizer. I'm going to take a little bit of this and just moisturize my skin. Really nice and hydrated and plump. Then I guess she says, after moisturizing, take a translucent powder. She says that she uses a Fit Me one, but I don't have that by Maybelline. So I'm going to use the NARS Translucent in Crystal. I'm picking this powder just because it's super, super fine. I didn't want anything too chunky, you know, that the liquid's going to grab onto and congeal on my skin. Oh, it's like my worst nightmare. So we are going to lightly powder with the NARS translucent powder all over the face. She says, don't use too much. So we're just honestly just going to do a really soft sweep all over the skin. Now that powder's on and it feels a little bit weird just because I've got powder on bare skin. She says that she uses the NYX, this is the NYX setting spray. So I'm going to use the dewy one and I'm going to spritz this all over the face and then it's really important to just let that dry. So let's go ahead and setting spray our face I guess. Now whilst the setting spray is drying, I mean I don't know how I feel about this but this is the craziest step. She then says apply a primer and um, just apply it on top. So I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, the illuminating one. I'm a little bit worried about this step. I don't know how my skin's gonna look after this. It just doesn't, in my head, it doesn't fit, but let's just try it anyway. So I'm gonna take a few pumps of this and then I'm just gonna pop this all over the face. Okay, so quick update. I really thought that primer was gonna do something with the powder underneath, but it hasn't done anything. Like there's no texture, there's no roll off product. And I really had to go in with my fingers to apply that because it's like a lotion, so you need to rub onto your skin nicely. Um, right now I can't tell. So the next step is foundation. I'm gonna use my Shiseido Synchro Skin self Refreshing Foundation. I'm gonna use bronze and citrine. I like to mix these two colors together. And let's just use our beauty blender and dab this on top and see what it looks like. I am a little bit nervous, but let's just see what it looks like. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to look at the skin side by side and look at it close up just to compare it for you guys. Now, if I'm honest, I'm really surprised that the powder underneath or the light layer of powder hasn't disrupted the liquid foundation. But I know a lot of people, when they've tried this, they've said that their pores have shrunk and they don't see as much texture. Naturally for me, I don't have very porous skin. I don't have a lot of texture on it. So I can't really see a difference in that area. Um, the skin feels fine and it looks super, super smooth on my skin. Like you guys can see, but this foundation I feel like would do that anyway. I always kind of get that finish. Um, 
so in that area i don't really see a difference but it just looks really nice and airbrushed really smooth on the skin and i don't know whether that's because of the way that i've done this or whether the the foundation just sort of just looks like this anyway you know so i'm just gonna add the foundation to the rest of the face and blend it in and i'll be right back okay so overall i'd say that's worked fine it's worked as normal i think if you had maybe oilier skin or you had more texture in your skin it'd be worth a try but for me my skin honestly just looks quite similar to what it would look like if anything it feels like it looks a little bit heavier on me like my foundation feels a little bit heavier or it looks a little bit heavier um but yeah, I mean, give that one a try. Let's move on to the next hack. Okay, so my next hack is one of mine, but it's not really mine. I don't know who originally came up with this idea, but I know I've been doing it for years. So it is how to make your concealer go that further mile. So say you're running out of concealer, you need to buy a new one. Like this one's nearly out, I need to get a new one but you kind of don't have time to get a new one or they're not in stock. How to make this concealer go a little bit further is the actual concealer, now this doesn't apply with all of them I don't think, but most of them, is they usually have a plastic stopper. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna clean the lid. They have a plastic stopper, which is the top plastic rim area. What you wanna do is you wanna grab your tweezers and pull that stopper out. Yes, pull the stopper out and then that's gonna help you get more product. It's gonna give you more concealer because it's gonna allow you to go right into the tube and get all them little areas around the sides of the tube that you couldn't get with this plastic stopper in. Because we're practically doing a full face. Let me just use my NARS, is this biscuit? No, it's ginger concealer. This one has got a stopper because it's a new one. And we are just going to quickly highlight and then buff that out just so we get a full face at the end of this. Let's move on to bronzer, blusher, all of that jazz. Another one of mine. I feel like I saw this on Makeup by Ariel or one of the Kardashians makeup artists. I think he does this. I'm not too sure where I saw it. But it is very, very simple. Make sure that you've got some wipes at the ready because your hands will get dirty. All it is, is I love cream bronzers. If you are cream bronzing and cream blushing, or even cream eyeshadowing, what it is, is get your bronzer, work it on the back of your hand to warm up that bronzer so it's not really, really stiff. Just get that color on the back of your hand, rub it in. Then take your brush and dab it onto your hand to pick up product from your hand. So essentially using your hand as the palette. And that's something that I do actually like. I don't mind even going straight directly onto my skin, but it helps you control the product. So say you're working with a product that is very, very pigmented, very vibrant, and you just want a tad of it. You don't want a lot. You don't want to overdo it. Work it onto the back of your hand, pick the product up from your brush, from your hand, and then apply it onto the skin, and you'll get more of a natural finish. And then you can also control how much you want to put on you can build it up you can keep it toned down as opposed to if you went directly onto the skin you can't really take away it it's more it's harder to take away than it is to put on okay now that is tried and tested and it genuinely works really really nicely i know it can get messy but you just need to keep a wipe with you and then wipe away i'm going to do exactly the same with a blusher now just applying it to the apples of the cheeks and then taking it up to the temples I like to do this with cream blushes because cream blushes can, depending on the brand, can tend to be a little bit more hard. And if you go straight in with a cream blusher stick onto your skin, it will just move your foundation underneath and it's no, there is no point to that. Also, I forgot to mention that the cream is working really nicely on top of that powder before foundation base. So I'm shook. Okay guys, the next story, story, the next hack, it's a TikTok hack, seen on TikTok, obviously. Um, it's all about highlighter. I don't know. My brain is a little bit jumbled today. Sorry about that. Let's just watch it real quick. Okay, right. So what she does is she takes her beauty blender. We're going to take our beauty blender. I'm going to take the one that I just used for foundation. We'll flip it so we've got the clean side. I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of my NYX Dewy Setting Spray just to get it a little bit extra damp, even though it is damp. Just get it a little bit more damp. And then I'm going to apply that into my Nicole Guerrero Times ABH palette. And we're going to pop that in to the palette, damp. 
and then I'm going to apply this to the skin and let's see how it looks. Okay, so that one definitely works. Would I use it? Probably not, just because, if I'm honest, I don't tend to wear highlighter anymore. I mean, I wear it sometimes when I'm really feeling it and I'm going for a really glam look, but I don't. I like, I prefer just like the natural highlight of this skin as opposed to like shimmer and goldy bits and stuff like that. But it definitely works if you are a highlighter kind of person, which I know the majority of you guys will be. It works. It kind of works like a cream highlighter. It almost turns it into like a cream. And it really sinks into the skin much, actually much better than a powder highlighter, I would say. Just because if you like your skin to look natural or you don't like like that stripe or that line or you don't want, to look, don't want it to look too excessive, this will be perfect for you. So I would try that out. The next hack I am so excited for. I haven't ever tried it. I have been curious to see if it actually works. And it's all to do with faux freckles. I'm a big faux freckles fan. And let's just watch the video. Let's go for it. This video, it looks like she is using the Anastasia palette, which I have the contour palette, cream up contour. What she does is she takes the product and then she stamps it onto her finger and also almost uses her finger as the stamp, as the freckle stamp. And then kind of just goes over them and then powders over the top. And this is supposed to look like really, really nice natural freckles. So we're going to try it. I'm really, really curious to see if it works. I've got my Anastasia contour palette. I'm going to take the warmer color and the middle color and take it on a really, really small brush. I'm going to stamp this on to the soft part of my finger. And then I'm just going to stamp this on to the skin. And we'll do that step and then we'll see what it's looking like. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can see them. I genuinely am shook. I didn't think it was going to work at first. It wasn't, but I wasn't really doing the dots nice. And what you want to make sure is when you get the product, you want a little bit more than what you think you want. So it needs to be a little bit wet so you can actually stamp onto the skin. Depending on what you like your freckles to look like, I like them to be a little bit more standout-ish. These are super, super cute. It really works. It looks more natural. I would say it looks so much more natural than if you were going to go in with a brown eyeliner and dot it on. This looks a lot more natural. It looks so pretty all over the face as well. I give this a massive thumbs up. It's something that I think I will do. But when I do faux freckles, I think I'll do the stamping technique and then I'll go in with like a brown eyeliner or a brown brow pencil and then kind of just perfect some of them because I still want it to look somewhat in the area that I want it and I like to like it to be a little bit perfect you know so I'll probably do a mixture of the two techniques but I am digging these faux freckles oh I almost forgot so what she then does is she takes a little bit of powder and then goes over it and this always just mutes the freckles it kind of makes them look like they are underneath the skin and it's a pigment in the skin so I'm going to take my Shiseido powder and then I just dab some powder over the top now I'm just going to give myself a super quick shadow liner let's do just that to the eyes and then add a little bit of mascara to my lashes and I'll come back to you because we have a false lashes hack Okay, I'm back. Hack number six is coming from moi. I have, I didn't create it, I don't know who did, but I've been using this one again for years and I've shared this with you on my Instagram. I'll leave the link down below so many times and I know it's helped a lot of you guys out and I know that now it's also on TikTok and it is how to apply falsies. So for the longest time, I hate applying falsies. I'm rubbish at it. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. But this makes everything just so much easier i think it's easier when you haven't got mascara on but i don't tend to put mascara on after i've put on false lashes i just feel like that ruins the lashes so i'll put mascara on then you want to take your lash glue preferably clear but this is a strip lash black one and also you want one with a brush you know something with a brush on it applicator duo lash glue works perfect and clear works perfect but this is a dark just so you guys can see it what i'm then going to do is i'm going to take the brush and i'm going to apply this as close to the top lash line as i possibly can where the lashes are going to go now you don't have to wait for this to get tacky you don't need to wait you don't need to do anything you can apply your lashes straight on and your lash will stick straight on and it'll be in the right place it won't be lifting up the corners as long as you've put enough glue from either end to from the front to the back your lashes won't lift off they'll stick straight on and it's just so much easier than putting the lash glue on to the lash 
Honestly, if you guys struggle with application of false lashes, try this because this has saved my life. It makes it so much more easier. You can also go in with the tweezers and then kind of like split your natural lashes with mascara through. I do that. I tweeze them together as well. Just so they're really, really nice and flush. I like my lashes just to be tight, you know. Now we're going to move on to hack number, I believe this is seven. This one freaks me out. I've not tried this either. And it is to get them dull dull bottom lashes you know where they're clumped together and they kind of look like spiders but not and it looks kind of cute i actually saw this on instagram and i can't find the post so i'm so sorry but it was a girl on there that had taken her tweezers she goes on to the, the mascara wand she takes some mascara onto her tweezers and then she kind of like clamps a few of her bottom lashes together until they create spidery doll like lashes on her bottom lashes and it's supposed to look super cute so we're just gonna go ahead and try this let's just see what it what it's like okay with this hack the more that i look at it the more i actually like it initially i was a bit like oh i don't even know why i do that to my bottom lashes like they're pretty long and i've got quite a few long lashes touch wood but I just add mascara and I like them all to be quite separate. And this, you can see them more. I feel like when I'm looking at myself, I can see my bottom lashes more, if that sort of makes sense. I kind of really like it and I like it with the top lashes as well. I think this would look really nice with certain looks that you do. Um, if you don't want too much bottom lash showing, if that's what makes sense. I really like it. I think I need a bit more practice at it. But I do think it's cute. Let me know down below what you think. The next hack is all about the hairline. Now it is if you've got a receding hairline or you're worried about your hair thinning. Personally, my hair is a little on the thinner side like I could do with more hair. I've got a very big forehead. However, I don't ever fill my hair hairline in. I don't think it's that deep. But let's just watch the video on this. Okay, so what she does is she goes in with like a powder first with an angle brush and then she brushes that out with a powder brush and then she goes in with an eyeliner. Now I have seen people with like powder brushes or um, eyeshadow brushes filling their hairline to create a shadow. I've seen that before but I've never seen the eyeliner, like the brown or the black eyeliner trick where you physically draw in the hair strokes. So I'm excited to try that. I'm gonna use my Melt Cosmetics powder. We're gonna use the eyeshadow in Rot just because it's that kind of deep brown. I don't want to use a black, it's gonna be too harsh. So I'm gonna first just draw in with an eyeshadow brush but a sturdy one just drawing where i need the kind of filling in then after that i'm going to go in with a fluffier brush just to kind of diffuse that product out and then we're going to go in with my nyx brown liner we're going to draw really really thin strokes and then use a spoolie to brush that out so we'll see if it looks any fuller okay my result is i think it works i think it's excessive. I don't think it needs to be done. I think the powder is fine on its own. I stopped because I was putting eyeliner in and then I was brushing out with a spoolie and I've got gel in my hair like to slick this back and all of that was lifting and I was getting white bits, you know? So make sure you do this before you put gel in your hair. Um, it works. The lines are a little bit obvious for my liking, but maybe I need to brush them out a little bit. I think it just depends on you as a person. I don't see the point in being excessive about it. And I could obviously fill it in a lot more. I just don't really like that look. I don't like when it's like cut and then it's just like skin. And there's like no kind of like baby hairs or anything. I'd rather style my baby hairs and make my forehead look smaller. And make me look like I've got more hair. As opposed to fill it in like this. So I mean it works though. It does work. You just got to do it more. Now, hack number nine is all to do with the lips. So we have Riley, I believe, doing this hack. I actually first saw this on Instagram, but let's just play the TikTok video. Okay, 
So I've actually done this before, tried and tested and it does work. It works amazing actually. So what she does is she takes, she's got a pink on, but I'm going to do a red so you guys can see it very, very strongly. Pigment, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know you can see it on camera. Um, we're going to take the Laura Messier. This is the Ruby Longwear Lip Liner. I'm just going to line my lips. And then it is using a liner, a lip liner as a lipstick. So let's just quickly go ahead and align lips. Okay, so I'm aware that I look crazy. You want to line your lips and then say you love that liner. I mean, I guess you could just fill your lips in, but this is a little bit of fun. She uses a lighter where she only for a split second lights up the product of the lip liner where it goes a bit soft. She then dabs it onto her finger when it's still soft and she applies it like lipstick and it works a treat. You could do this with any liner or eyeliner as well. So let's just give it a try. I'm going to light this up and then I'm just going to use my finger to apply it as lipstick on to the lips. Okay, so personally, I really like this hack. I think it works really well. You've just got to make sure that you light it up enough. I think I did it a bit too much, but it still works. You don't want too much product because then it will get clumpy. And I think it maybe depends on the lip liners. I know the Laura Mercier ones work amazing. And this is the color. And I absolutely love this shade of lip as well. I'm not really a red kind of girl. You guys know me. But I love this. And it doesn't feel, it feels like um, a stain. It doesn't feel really, really dry at all. And it doesn't feel crumbly. It doesn't feel like any of that. And this will last because I've worn this like this before through eating and it does last. So I'm really impressed with this hat. Okay, on to the last hack, guys. This is something just to bear in mind. So I know that this applies to Revolution lipsticks, but I'm not sure about other lipsticks. Um, there's loads out there that will also have this. I just don't know the brands. So the Revolution one that I'm going to show you is just this dark lipstick, right? Really cute, really pretty. But did you know that they have a bottom compartment? I'm sure you guys have seen this. Did you know that it pops off? Did you know it pops off? So it pops off and it's got product in there. I'm just going to swatch these two shades side by side. So this is the lipstick. It's a beautiful kind of like purpley shade and it's got a sheen to it so it's not completely matte let me just grab a brush real quick i'm gonna go in to the product of this i believe it's the same product that they just put in maybe in the factory i think i don't know i'm making that up i think it's the same product that they just put in the factory oh no it's different so I think I've read somewhere that this product is non-potent and it's safe to use on your lips. It looks different. So this is almost like a balm or a gloss version of the lipstick. So you get a two in one. You get a lip gloss, a lip balmy tint and you get your lipstick. How amazing is that? And that, guys, concludes this YouTube video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure that you follow me on TikTok. I'm going to start uploading. Or once this video goes out, I think this video will already be out. I'll have already uploaded, so I'm excited about that. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you want another video like this? Because honestly, I've had so much fun. I feel like I spent like three or four hours filming this video. I'm not even going to lie. I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet, which I'm going to do now. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Let me know if you want me to do more hacks. They're just fun, aren't they? And it's cool to know different things about different products and blow your mind from time to time. I'm a poet. Um, let me know your thoughts are down below. And I love you guys so very much. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.